Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we once again saw the loss this war is inflicting on the people around us and I'm going to go check in with a couple people see if anything's changed none of that was main mission-y so I don't think anything crazy I happened I got discharged category 6 after even don't know what that means If I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last oh no! He was that he was joining. Oh Cerberus. boy. Well, mm, mm, that, uh, that's bad. You've got new messages. I Amanda. figured I did. Can't hop right into saving Tuchanka just yet. You saved my life on Benning. I've lost so many friends, but I hope. I find hope in the idea that their memory lives on in me. I know I'm just one woman, but I wanted to let you know you're making a real difference. Why am I so emotional? <laughs> uh, that's the whole, like, starfish story, right? With, like, a little small child throwing, like, walking along the beach. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound. They're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound uh. is irrelevant given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <sighs> but yeah, like, uh, somebody sees a small child throwing starfish back into the sea, and the person who sees the child doing this is like, you're not going to be able to save them all, so why are you doing this? Like, it's not going to change anything. And the child picks up one starfish, throws it back in, and is like, it made a difference to that one, you know? And, and so on. So, like, maybe you can't save everyone, but you can save some Edie? people. Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. Oh. They are demanding human leaders enter their oh. superstructures in order to negotiate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Yeah, well, we got a long way to go. <laughs> you gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked than not ours. I am surprised it was only one. Uh, like, what, was it that was that bomb going to blow up the entire planet, or just, like, half of it, you know? Like, the whole idea of the genophage was that it was a the peaceful solution, essentially, um, that didn't involve the eradication of an entire species. Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to support weaker bone structure. Right. Yeah, I can do that. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause... Oh, my goodness. Pain. Recommend pillows, cushions, possibly gel packs. Okay, that's a little weirder, but yeah, all right, cushions. Positioning critical to success. Can forward Edie charts, videos with... Oh, my Edie. gosh. No, 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 let's... let's uh, uh, Edie's pretty busy with, you know, stuff. Let's, let's, let's send, uh, just send that to me. Uh, you're not gonna tell anyone about this, right? Like, like Shepard? Shepard doesn't really need to know. Ah, guarantee Shepard won't learn about it from me. <laughs> I wish I would. <laughs> I remember this interaction. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's so funny. Morden is apparently, <laughs> despite being a Solarian, is the is the go-to guy for s sex questions. I don't know, sex education. I guess. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. He's a very, he'd be very impartial. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Oh, I think we did everything. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Nice talking with you, Morton. Mm -hmm. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in the meantime. Perfect.
something else, Commander? Mm. I think we're good. How is Morden then treating you? <laughs> Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical Solarian. No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to Telomere's premature aging. He does that. <laughs> but I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Vorcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and a da 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 What a disturbing <laughs> image, a sorry Vorcha. Well, it wasn't his ear. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. It is interesting that it seems like Morden changes his stance quite quickly, honestly. Um, like, you don't get much of a lead-up to it, but that's because you don't see him when he sees the Krogan women. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you. Honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. To be fair, the last... And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. <laughs> um... The last time Rex or Garrus and I had a discussion about relaxing it, uh, well, I don't, I don't think you, you don't have to lead into that. That didn't happen with this shepherd, but you can talk about relaxing or uh, de-stressing before a major mission, and it, it turns into a, you want a date? <laughs> Say that again. The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. You hope, anyway. Never mind, never mind. Do we have... Nothing's glowing. I do need to walk around more and, like, hear people's conversations even if they don't have anything new. It's so weird though, like, my ship does feel very empty. Honestly. And that's partly my fault, because in the last one I lost my engineers that would have been over here, those two engineers. And that was my fault. I messed up on the last, on, the, on this iteration. I, I'm like, I'm gonna do it the same way I've done it before, and I almost never do. It always, there's always something slightly different. Breaking now. Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared Wasn't death. that a while ago? But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. I thought that was like right out the gate, honestly. Engineer Adams is floating around somewhere. I don't know where Your he is. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are coming. Uh -huh. And by addition, do you mean slave race? subservient race. Right. <laughs> Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Who is this, Doomfist? Nothing struggles. Nothing he changes. actually does kind of remind me. Upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. He does kind of remind me a little bit of Doomfist now that I say that from Overwatch. He's a, of a similar mind. Very well-spoken man, very intelligent, who um, sees conflict as progression, essentially. Like, you don't improve without some sort of conflict. Only the strongest survive, etc., etc. My dog's alive again, I swear I remember it looked dead, or it looked dead before. That last job on Tachanka was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus, it was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. That's yeah, okay. If only the game could operate like that a little bit would be nice. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. You didn't even... You didn't even know. Actually, I think James takes it kind of hard, honestly. Um, maybe I upgrade some stuff. I don't know. What does people want? 
I have vague recollections of saying I liked that it did this, where it's like, oh, it goes through all the upgrades or whatever that you purchased. And I, I think I was a big fat liar. Like, why can't they just, just do it once? Why do they have to show me all of it <laughs> when I buy everything? Just show me the latest one if you have to show me something. Um, I think that was everyone. Well, I guess let's see. Did you have any? I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Oh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, Trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. And not that I'm volunteering for bomb job duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Yeah, well, I mean, she's not a combat trained officer, you know? So, can't, you know, why would I throw her in a situation like that unless it was, like, absolutely necessary? Anyway, I'm... Here we go. All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're gonna be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. Here we go. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They wanna fight. They just got one. Primarch, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility, finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Oh, cute nickname. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the common for you. Dalatras. Commander Shepard. Oh, please. We reached to Chunka. And by now, I imagine Mordor has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the genophage will end in lasting peace? Does it matter at this point is my whole thing? I'm like freaking... I, I would rather fight Krogan ten times out of ten than Reaper. You know? Like... What is, I just like I totally know that this is how people are like I but like old like younger me would have been like I like still was like you know I don't get it but I'm still like want to shake her by the lapels and be like you idiot <laughs> but people's inborn like bigotry racism like hatreds or whatnot inborn that's a terrible phrase to use ingrained um no, nobody's inborn with any sort of hatred You're, it's ingrained into you but her ingrained hatred is just mind-boggling. It's just my, I can still be mind-boggled by it, even if I'm like, yeah, that would happen. We have to give the Krogan that chance. We can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on you what might happen. can't condemn all of us to death. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. So what? We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is We're going to be dead. What do you want, Delatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfill. Yeah, they'll promise. notice pretty fast. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible and the full support of Instead of Krogan ones? If I sabotage them. <laughs> Think about it, Commander. 
the choice is To yours. be fair, I would get the Krogan ones initially and the Solarian ones. But the Krogan would figure out real fast when their women still are having like only one in 1,000 viable births that the cure didn't work. You know what I mean? Like, I guess. It's like, oh, also, if you actually did it this way, there's a lot of renegade stuff that I'm like, yeah, I understand doing that, but if you do what you have to do in order for that to play out, you're a monster. The only people I would accept doing that is people who, like, do, like, YouTube, what, like, videos of it so that other people can see it without having to experience it, you know? Oh, boy. I did just upgrade some of the weapons. Do I... Oh, he has the particle rifle. Okay. I did upgrade, I did a couple for the incisor. Eh. This one's fine. Confirm, don't care, don't care about none of that really. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. I got a message. <sighs> Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading I in. I think Reeve is the one who, if Rex didn't survive Mass Effect 1, Reeve is his replacement. <laughs> I hate those things. Shepard, keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. I'm like, she has a name, but her name is actually... She gave up her name. And... Uh, and, uh... Everyone Eve is just what keep an eye on our six. we call her. No, move. I hate you guys so much. Oh, the enemy is approaching. I mean, I'll just stay here, man. Unless they can somehow get behind me. First pilot, but now here. They've been here. We're not done yet. More on the way. Crawling all over the place, nasties. Come on. I think I am too far away for this to be useful. We almost got them all. They're crawling away, nasties. They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Recommend haste, however. Vital signs troubling. What's a Solarian doing here? He's a snack. Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. <laughs> Who are you? Erd not Reeve, brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. <laughs> I like to sometimes go the renegade route with the Krogan, but... This Solarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the Genophage. His kind gave us the Genophage. Why should we trust him? Because I do. And so will you. Oh, I love this part.
You can stay here and let old wounds fester as Krogan have always done. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a reaper that needs killing! Ah, uh, it takes a woman. Two is even better. Placate them somehow. I'll demand the council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the ancients. See, that's the problem. Glory of ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths, creation of genophage, expansion plan problematic. Yeah, that's that was the whole issue. Is that if you guys just want to like take over everything, like people are gonna have issues with that. <laughs> what were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, the Krogan were a proud people. We had dreams, a future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference? No, we destroyed Tachunka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear war was inevitable. But now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. I don't. I don't want to be like mean, but it's like any hint of the Krogan trying to expand again could raise alarms. My children aren't going to suffocate in this cesspool. I want them to witness a new age, a Krogan Empire. Rex, I'm not saying we won't ask first. But the council can't expect us to stay here forever. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? Yeah, you can keep it secret, but no, I'm definitely... The Dalatras tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I guess you meant what you said about Malin's data, Shepard. Yay! Apology accepted. Things are fully healed now between us two. Why are we stopping? armor is very cool. It's like a reverse Aurora Borealis. You and Morden stay with Eve. It's looking ugly out here. There it is. It would be my first kill, but no I mean, you've killed a lot of things since then. But the Solarians don't have this kind of problem. What do you mean? The Solarians don't have this kind of problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What's the holdup? Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Turian Wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative, Commander. Our approach is locked. The Reaper are over here. I just, well, go further away. Why didn't you wait until we freaking said we were in position? Strike isn't enough against the Reaper. 
We must join Oh the my fight. gosh. It was Why did you do that? <laughs> I was like, wait, I went too fast. Hang on, hang on, let me see. Dang it! All right, hang on, I'm gonna, I know it's, it's not really that big a deal, but I am going to restart. I, we're not that far, so it's not that big a deal. My first kill, but not Ooh, look at that. Sure, I'll play with it. Remember to bring it back when you're done. Remember to bring it back when you're done. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't. I think the death mask isn't that cool, but I'm not sure. We can't sit around like this. Can't remember. If it is what I think it is, it was less than cool. Shepard, a tunnel over there. Maybe a way off. Get to it. All right, I picked up all the things. Now we're at the point of no return. This is actually a really cool part, and I remember soliloquizing throughout this whole part and when I first played. So that's exciting. But um, I'd have to. I probably can't remember most of it, but that's fine. That's probably for the best, honestly. Anyway, I think I am going to call this one here. I'm starving, so I'm going to go eat. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate, honestly, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, and an extra, extra awesome shout out for Christopher, who's going to be my forest tier patron, I think, unless I decide to change the name. So thank you so, so much for your support. I really do. It's overwhelming. It's it's a lot. So I, I just, whatever, I just, I just appreciate it. Whatever, whatever you give, I'm appreciative. So thank you all again so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Like this. Look at that ring. It's the end of the world out there. It will be.